Welcome back to GearWire.com. My name is Bill Holland. A lot of people don't necessarily dig in as deep as they could into the plugins that come with Logic. Now the Klopfgeist is actually a really easy way to add really strong sub bass tones to your mix. A lot of people don't know this and they try to get that with the ES2, which can deliver really good sub frequencies, but this plugin is designed for this purpose. This is like its, its purpose in life is to make really good sub bass. So what I've done here is I've duplicated my bass line, uh, the Funk Synth bass up here that I made with the ES2, but now I've doubled it up with the Klopfgeist. Now see what this does for us. So without, and with. There are a bunch of defaults here too you can use. There's a bass, hard tick, kick drum long, kick drum, a pluck, tonal, but if I go back to bass, really the strong suit of this thing is to provide a nice low bass tone. Notice here it's at minus 12 semitones, I can take it down to minus 24, and it's just barely audible on my headphones, but on a club system, you're going to hear that booming throughout whenever you drop that. If I mute my regular bass real quick, that's some wall shaking bass right there. That will wake people up at 2 in the morning if you're driving through your neighborhood playing this. Now you can also take it up and use it as like a mallet synth almost or a uh, some sort of analog percussion. Or go way down. And another way to take full advantage of this particular plugin is to detune it, which is going to make it sound bigger. I'm going to turn off mono really quickly here. I guess it won't let me. So we'll leave it in mono, but uh, let's go to detune. So you hear it without detuning. That's the sound right there. And now detune it. Let's take it up to minus 12. So without detuning. Makes it a little bit bigger. Now bring it back down. And you can change up tonality and dampening to kind of suit what you want for your track. Well, that was the Klopfgeist, one of the plugins that comes with Logic 8. For now, this is GearWire.com, and my name is Bill Holland.